hit that subscribe button and the bell icon beside it to check out our latest videos before anyone else. What's up everyone, I'm Nikhil from Ready Tech and this is the unboxing of Honor 9i. So guys, this is the box with the phone name on the front. On the right, we have some specifications like MRP, model number, box contents and so on. On the back, once again, we have some other specs like IMEA number, star value and a made in China tagline. We will go through the specs later. So for now, let's start with the unboxing. Honor is selling this phone at a price tag of 18,000 rupees in the Indian market on Flipkart and their very own website. There's only one model and it's available in three colors, black, gold and blue. As of now in India, only the gold color is available. But if you want my suggestion, I'll suggest you to go with the black or the blue color. So guys, now that the box is opened, at the center we have the phone. I'll just put it aside for now. Next we have two boxes on either side. I'll go with the left one. So at the top we have the sim card ejector. Seriously, it took me two minutes to pull it out without damaging the box. Anyway, inside this box, these are the contents. First we have the 10 watts power adapter, followed by the old style earphones with an inline mic. Next we have the micro USB charging cable. Now let's look at the second box. In this box we have some documentation like the quick start guide, warranty card and a plastic hard case. Now let's come back to the phone. Let me peel all this plastic off. So guys this is how the phone looks. Let's go through the physical overview and the complete specs. It has a complete unibody metal design with a plastic antenna bands just like the iPhone 6 and the 6s. On the front it has a 2.5D curved glass. We don't know if it's a corning gorilla glass or not. Probably not. Now this glass is protected by a plastic rim and that is surrounded by the entire metal frame. So unless you drop the phone on its face, it's pretty safe. On the front we have a 5.9 inch IPS display with Full HD plus resolution in 18 is to 9 aspect ratio, just like the S8 and the LG G6. Above the display we have the soft flash, proximity and ambient sensors, notification LED, earpiece and dual front facing cameras. One of them is a 13 megapixel camera and another one is a 2 megapixel camera used for depth sensing. Below the display it's completely plain. We don't have capacitive buttons, instead we have to use the on-screen buttons. On the back it has a single LED flash, followed by a vertically aligned dual camera setup. One of them is a 16 megapixel camera, followed by a 2 megapixel camera for depth sensing. Now following all that is a fingerprint scanner, honor branding and some more specs. On the top we have a single hole for microphone. At the bottom we have the 3.5mm audio jack, a hole for microphone, two screws, micro USB charging port and the speaker grill. On the right we have the power and volume buttons made of metal and they have a good tactile feel to them. On the left side we have the sim card tray that houses a nano sim slot and a hybrid sim slot. So you can either use two nano sims or a nano sim and an SD card up to 128 GB. Now that's the physical overview. Let's see what's under the hood. This phone sports Huawei's Kirin 659 octa-core processor with 8 Cortex-A53 cores, Mali-T830 MP2 GPU, 4GB of RAM and 64GB of internal storage. Out of the box you get around 2.4GB of free RAM and 48GB of free space. It is running a heavily skinned version of Android called EMUI 5.1 based on Android 7.2 Nougat. It has all the basic sensors like proximity, ambient, accelerometer, including a notification LED light, compass, FM radio and a fingerprint scanner. But it is missing gyroscope, which really doesn't make any sense for a phone that costs 18,000 rupees. Now all this is powered by a 3340 mAh battery which doesn't support quick charging but comes with a 10 watts power adapter. Now coming to my initial impressions, this phone doesn't have the most awesome build but it's good and very solidly built. It also has a camera bump so you have to use a good case to avoid getting it scratched. Phone feels very sleek with a thickness of 7.5 mm and it weighs just 165 grams for such a huge looking phone. By the way, this phone comes with a screen guard pre-applied. It's a nice little touch, but I wish they went with a tempered glass instead. I've already scratched the screen guard. Next we have this plastic case, which is once again a very nice touch, but this is just for the temporary purpose. So I suggest you to get a good case in case you drop your phone a lot. One of the highlighting features of this phone is the display, and it does deliver. For the phone's form factor, screen looks massive, and the bezels are very thin. I really wish I could buy the black variant. 
In display settings, we have the option to scale all the apps. But by default, it doesn't scale the apps and while you're watching videos on YouTube or apps like Netflix, it doesn't give you the option to scale the video, like Samsung S8. So that needs to be fixed with an update. If you're using third-party video players like MX Player, you can always crop or scale the footage. Now coming to the cameras, this is the camera interface. We got three new features. First one is the wide aperture mode, which doesn't seem to be working properly. I still need to test it. Next one is the portrait mode, which works really well. Third feature is the moving picture mode, where it captures a small video clip when you take a picture, just like the iPhone does. From my initial impressions, cameras looked awesome on this phone. Especially portrait mode for selfies works really well. These are some sample shots. Now many people have been complaining about the speaker loudness on this phone, but for me, it sounded loud enough. It is definitely not as loud as the Mi A1 or the Moto G5 S Plus, but it is comparable. So guys, that's pretty much it for the unboxing and initial impressions of the Honor 9i. I will be posting many videos on this phone in the coming few days. So if you have any doubts or if you want me to make any specific video, shout out to me by commenting below this video and I'll try to make it as soon as possible. If you are planning to buy this phone, use the link in the description. It helps the channel. So guys, if you like this video, hit that like button and subscribe to our channel to see more cool videos on tech. I'm Nikhil from Greedy Tech signing off. Have a nice day.